Hey guys, Nani from Nani's Little Dooders here. As you see, we have two enclosures. Um, I really dislike these enclosures. The lids suck. Um, and I really love my primal cages enclosures. So, um, this one's going to be interesting. I'm going to rehome my C from Biotis. I have a catch cup handy. <laughs> um, so, without further ado, maybe we should get going. I'll get a smaller catch cup too, just to be on the safe side. I know she's not very big, but this enclosure will fit her perfect, and I won't have to move her for quite some time. Ooh. Okie dokie, where's my tongs? Not quite sure where she's at. Really tough webbing. She could be anywhere. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here, guys. I'm not the greatest camera woman, so please bear with me. Um, and as you guys know, this is a really fast species, old world species. So I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time. A little bit. I can see her burrow, so I'm assuming that she's somewhere down here. So, um, I saw her out webbing this morning, and I thought, well, maybe I should probably get her. I should probably look at this to make sure she's not on that anywhere. Hmm. Great webbing. Great webber, so yay. So I'm assuming she's going to be in this burrow. Uh, if I jump and scream, I'm sorry. She scares me, <laughs> even though she's a little tyke. Um, and I hate to rehome them so frequently, but I really am just using these as temporary homes until I get their, their main home, which is the primal cages enclosures. So I'm just going to gently whittle away at this. Maybe I can pull her out with her webbing and just stick her in the new enclosure. It'd probably be the best for her, for me, for, <laughs> for my nerves. Ooh. So I'm going to guarantee you she's in here. And I'm just gently doing it because I don't want to hurt her. Hear my kitty in the background. <laughs> uh, just very gently. I'm not doing it very hardly. Hard. Just little. I, you know, I remember the last time I took her out of the smaller enclosure. She was jumbled up in her in her web home so I know she's probably in here somewhere Ooh. okay I'm gonna bring this out and set it in here and see if she's in there I'm pretty sure she is I don't see her anywhere else in here. I could be wrong. No, I don't see her anywhere else in here. So she's got to be. I'm going to put this aside for just a moment. I'm going to move this into screen. Let's see if you guys can see her here. Okay, and that's 
that's the little matting there. I'm gonna get my other tongs here. Let me see if I can get her out. Should probably just let her be in here and let her come out on her own. But I'm pretty sure she's in there. Yeah, she's in there. I can feel it. I don't want her to come crawling up my tongs. Oh. <sighs> okay, you guys. <laughs> I think I kind of see her there. These aren't the best, and I don't have any smaller ones here. I ordered another pair of six inch tongs. Wow, she's got this little home nice and tucked in. The reason I'm doing this, guys, is because I'm pretty sure she's in there, but if she's not, I gotta dig through the other stuff. And she's fast. There's, there's her butt. Yep, there's her butt. So there she is right there. So I'm just gonna get her kinda out here and hope she's okay. Okay, beautiful. Okay, it's okay, beautiful. We gotcha. There you go, there you go. <gasps> oh. oh, she went up my... <laughs> oh no, you're gonna go down. No, you gotta go down. I'm going to put the lid on it. Whew. She went up my tongs. <laughs> oh, scared the bejeebers out of me. Oh, okay. She's in her new home, guys. Look. She's beautiful. Scared the shit out of me. But um, I think she's going to absolutely love her new home. Um, She's got lots of anchor points here, let me. Oh, sorry, I told you, I'm not the best camera person. There she is. Nice little fat booty. <clears throat> I've been feeding her well. <clears throat> but now she's got lots of anchor points. Um, and lots of moss because I heard that they like a higher humidity level. Um, guys, these are our old world so again another reason why that kind of makes my heart skip a beat a couple times she tried climbing up my tongs um but i absolutely love her um i'm naming all of my spiders pretty much after uh, harry potter series but if you guys want to help me name this one make it a unisex name for right now because <laughs> i don't know if it's male or female but uh, let's give her a good, a good name. All right, you guys have a good night and I'll catch you later.